Agenda 21. This is the agenda for the 21st century, hence its name. These are from its own documents of various kinds. Agenda 21 involves this. An end to national sovereignty. State planning and management of all land resources, ecosystems, deserts, forests, mountains, oceans and fresh water, agriculture, rural development, biotechnology and ensuring equity, i.e. equal slavery. People told what their job will be, major restrictions on movement, creation of human settlement zones, get to them as we go along, mass resettlement of people who are forced to vacate land where they currently live, dumbing down education, mass global depopulation in pursuit of all of the above. This is a map of America as desired and projected by the uh, Biosphere programs and World Heritage program. And whenever you see diversity or sustainability or Agenda 21, they're just into, into uh, connecting interchangeable terms. So the red on this map of America is designed to be core reserves and corridors with little to no human use. Can you imagine? the numbers of people to be removed to make that possible. Then you've got all the yellow bits, buffer zones, highly regulated use, and normal use are just the green bits. Look at it across America, 300 odd million people. And the idea is to make vast, vast areas of land, ban it from human use and human activity on the basis of saving the environment when what it is, is taking it all over for the less than 1%. What they want to do is concentrate the masses in high rise, ultra, ultra tiny boxes where they can be surveil uh, under surveillance 24 seven. Now, get the people off the land. And so what they're doing, they're changing the laws and they're making economic changes which make it impossible for those that were not of the elite to stay on the land. And so what they're doing under Agenda 21, and America is the primest example, is they're just not funding rural communities. They're not funding rural schools, they're not mending rural roads to make life impossible, to get people off the land. Now this is a big area where people get um, they get scammed because they, they, they don't think that that is possible, manipulating the weather to create extremes of weather to get people into situations that remove them from the land. But actually, Dr. Richard Day um, was actually a weather manipulator uh, during the Second World War. People say it's not possible. Of course it's possible. It's happening. It goes way back. Um, even a uh, BBC radio documentary exposed a few years ago that the Linmouth flood in 1952 which, which killed people and devastated that village in Devon, was actually created by the RAF, who were doing an operation called Operation Cumulus, also known as Operation Witch Doctor, in which they were putting sulfur into the atmosphere above this, um, in this area. And actually people before the massive flood say they, they, they kind of tasted and smelt sulfur in, in the air. And what it did was create an enormous rainstorm which created the flood, which created the Linmouth disaster. This is uh, 1996, uh, an official US Air Force document describing the artificial creation of floods, hurricanes, droughts and earthquakes. And it continues, weather modification will become a part of domestic and international security and could be done unilaterally. It could have offensive or defensive applications and even be used for deterrence purposes. The ability to generate precipitation, fog and storms on Earth or to modify space weather and the production of artificial weather are all part of an integrated set of military technologies. They are manipulating the weather like crazy. This is Agenda 21, human settlement zones. As you saw, it's in their own documents.